decided my shift white needed a revamp, so it was time for a new project. Let's see how it went this time. Hello everybody, I am Stuyo and welcome to my garage. These types of tachometers are really popular in sim racing, but the original shift white is quite boring. Naturally, I decided to extend it a little bit. Main component here will be a round module with 7 addressable RGB lights. Let's start off with making the transparent cover. This was cut out from a 2mm sheet of copy glass. After marking the cut by using the original body as template, it was time to use my favorite machine, a Dremel Rotary tool. Edges were nicely finished with around some paper. The fit has not to be perfect. The whole assembly will keep the glass window in place. In the same as in my other LED projects, the window was covered with automotive window tint. Start by cleaning well the surface. Apply generous amounts of water. Using window cleaner or soap based solution will give you even better results. This window tint sticks very well to acrylics, so it is not so easy to remove bubbles after you stick it. Using something other than water will make your life easier, yet again even water is fine. Remove all the air pockets using squeegee and a microfiber towel. Because this window tint sticks so well, you can proceed now to trimming the edges. By now, you should have a nice tinted window to cover your shift light. Let's proceed with making the bracket. After you mark where you want to put the shift light, you can drill the first hole. Make sure everything fits as you want it on every step. Proceed with marking the second hole. The offset is 10 mm. After we verify that everything fits perfectly, we can proceed with the next step. Packing the cable is pretty straightforward. In this project I will be using 4 wires, because I want to use the digital out channel as well. This will allow me to daisy chain other LED lights. Using some hot glue at this step is a good idea to protect all your solder points. As always, I fancy a nice sleeved cables. Here, cable is split in two parts because the connector I'm using doesn't pass through the wire fitting. Assembly is pretty easy from this point further. All the parts just tack together and they are held by friction. Before 
final soldering of the cable you have to thread it through the main body and the cable fitting. Make sure you leave some slack in the cable. The LED module is held in place by using Cam3 mounting hardware. Proceed with screwing it down to the main body. Put the transparent cover in place and finish the whole assembly. Before final assembly, always check if everything fits perfectly. Put the M3 mounting nuts into their grooves. Preheating them makes your life easier. Brackets are ready now for final assembly. After you assemble the tachometer body, you can slide in the shift slide. Somewhere around this point I also soldered the complete cable. In this section you can see my in-game and idle animations. As always, links in the description will lead you to the SimHub profiles. some videos of me playing games. Excuse my poor driving here, but I was focused mostly on making the video and not actually on driving. 